world is your first paring down process of the who in the world you're actually going to interview out of all those thousands of applicants? Yeah. The first step, that's the question, right? Yep. Yep. The first step is to take them into uh, the personality index. We want to know what their PI is, your personality Now they're going to do that. They're going to do that automatically online, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Right. Yep. And so we've got for every job, we have two to three personality index profiles, which are acceptable to us per role. And so what we do is we, we have a, the whole methodology is in there about how we communicate. They take that, they provide it back to us. And then, it, you know, for us, it's a pass fail. If they fail, they're out. If they pass, we're on to the next step, which the next step then becomes another screening tool, which we're testing IQ along with a couple of other tests or a couple of other things. It's all one test, but it measures multiple things within that test. They're, you know, one of them being their ability, you know, how excitable are they? So, you know, if you've, if you've got, right. I mean, depending what role somebody's in, if I've got a closer and, you know, I mean, you know how this goes. I mean, things melt down all the time in the closing world. Who's very excitable. It's not a good personality fit for a closer. I need a steady hand in a closer role because every well, things are just going to go wrong. That's how it's going to go. Right. You know what, what I find interesting uh, over the years, the, uh, the glad handler, the um the one that's just like you know running around yelling all the time yeah. as opposed to the very quiet very organized listens much more than they talk yeah. out closes those other people all the time you're exactly right yeah which you know by you know maybe some people wouldn't think that they say hey no. I close somebody, right. I got to get them excited, right? right. I got to get them excited. But I'm thinking of one particular closer that he's like the, he's like the, he's the quietest person on the planet. Sure. And he stays on the phone with them or he sits down with them at the table until they either say, leave me alone or they buy. He just keeps asking very, soft probing yeah. questions yeah. until they buy. That's it. Just like, you've got two ears, one mouth. You need to use them in that proportion, right? And then the ability to listen and then ask strategic soft questions. As you know, I help real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their real estate deals. You may not know that I have an exclusive private money academy membership. That's right. A monthly membership where we actually spend time together twice a month on Zoom. That's the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month. And I invite you to come check it out. We have hundreds and hundreds of members that always share their deals with each other, how they're finding deals. And of course, how we get all of our deals funded. I want to give you a four week trial to just come check it out absolutely free. And you can do that in the description below. Go check out the URL, the website below right here in the description. And I'll see you at the Private Money Academy membership.